Aquaba, welcome back to my channel. My name is AC Coquie, and this is What's the Wahala AC, where we discuss all the Wahala from the week. It's November, my favorite month. It didn't start off too great, but let's head into the Wahala to actually talk about what happened. It is time for our big three. Design crew, because we the big three. Don't need a big speech. We made the biggest impact. Check the spreadsheet. So to start off our big three, we have some very very unfortunate and sad news takeoff from the migos was shot and killed this monday morning he suffered injuries to his head and his arm but they were too substantial for him to make it through um, i believe he died on the spot there are so many different reports to actually what happened some people say it was a stray bullet that hit him some people are alleging that because there were so many shots at him that it wasn't just a stray bullet so we don't know we don't know many details all we can gather is that they were at an event and they were playing dice what is alleged is that an argument was ensuing with Quavo and then the argument got heated and then there was shooting and takeoff was one of the people that got hit until there are more reports on what has happened, this is what we know, um, and most of this stuff is alleged. We still don't know what exactly happened, but it is just so unfortunate and really sad for his life to be lost. He's a lot of people's favorite Migos. It was just not a great way to start off the, the beginning of the month to hear that news. So I just send prayers and love to his family and to his loved ones, all that loved him. He will be missed. Moving on to some more unfortunate news. DeVito, Nigerian superstar, he and his fiance Chioma went on a trip, I believe, for his 30th birthday plans. They left their son in the hands of their caretaker, the nanny, and I guess some other people in the house. His son Ife drowned in the family pool while DeVito and Chioma were on the trip. There are, you know, more alleged reports that say that he drowned for 20 minutes or that he drowned for two hours. All of the people that were working in the house, including the nanny, the chef, and the other people working there were arrested and uh, taken in for questioning. They released six of those people. Uh, the nanny and I believe the chef are the ones that are still the ones in questioning and being held and asked what happened because even if it was 20 minutes even if it was two hours that is way too long you don't hear a child for even five minutes even two minutes they're up to something they're doing something so i don't know what happened and it's just it's so sad because they obviously trusted these people to take care of their child and they did not follow through and now they they lost their son and so my prayers go out to DeVito and Chioma and their family I hope and pray the best for them during this situation rest in peace Ifani and lastly in our big three Dwayne Wade's ex-wife is causing a lot of just headache when it comes to Zaya Wade. She is saying that Dwayne Wade is exploiting their daughter for financial gain, that she should not be able to change her name and her gender till she is of age to make that decision for herself. I do think that she made the decision for herself, which is why her dad is supporting her. He did send a statement back out to the ex-wife, her name is Siobhan, by the way, and he says, while none of us are surprised by Siobhan's attempt to fight Zaya's identity and her unwavering attempt to drag my name through the mud, I'm very disappointed that she continuously finds ways of centering herself and her needs without regard to her children. This report came out while Zaya was in class. This is a kid who has maintained a 4.0 GPA in honors classes while navigating all this unsolicited and harmful attention and debates about her gender and sexuality from those who are committed to not listening to her, much less even knowing her. And he goes on to say a lot more about how he's given her many opportunities to be in Zaya's life and, you know, really be there for her. But she has not really taken part in Zaya's life and she's been very absent. And so he is doing 
what he can to be the present parent and um, she should not have any claim or any opinion or be able to file a petition to stop what Zaya actually wants because she wouldn't know because she has not been there. I hate situations with like this that it goes into the child like the parents drama goes into the child but I understand that because she came out publicly with what she had to say and she filed a petition for it that's very public and legal um, he definitely had to respond this way and I just think that he is doing the best that he can to support Zaya through this and when you know it's very hard for a mother to lose custody of her child so if she did maybe she wasn't the most fit at the time to do so and if you are trying to get back into somebody's life I don't think it would be the best decision to do this until you talk to the child <laughs> and like build that relationship with the child so you actually know what they want to do it is not about what you want to do when it comes to matters of gender matters of identity I don't think that anyone really gets a say in that when it comes to self all right you guys thank you so much for listening to the big three I know it was heavy let's head into our weekly wrap-up the stars really dressed up for Halloween this year. Heidi Klum went as a worm. Little Nas X was Ice Spice. Lizzo was Krayshawn and Miss Piggy. Tyga went as E.T. Lori Harvey as Beyonce. And then Kim Kardashian went as Mystique to Tracy Ellis Ross's birthday party. But didn't get the memo that it wasn't a costume party. Yikes. <laughs> Drake and 21 Savage are dropping their project, Her Loss, this Friday. I cannot wait to hear it. Masiko Kalisha from Love and Hip Hop reveals that she gave birth to another girl with her husband, Jamar Champ. Congratulations. Gabrielle Union, Dwayne Wade, Kavia, and so much more celebrated Gabrielle Union's 50th birthday party in Zanzibar. And they just made their way to Ghana to also continue the celebrations there and experience the return. And lastly, congratulations are in order for Rotimi and Vanessa. They are expecting a baby girl. Congratulations. That was our weekly wrap up. Let's head to what's on my playlist. What's on my playlist? What am I watching? What am I getting into? What am I listening to? I am listening to and watching SZA's song Shirt. The visuals are out for Shirt and I love it. I cannot wait for more SZA music. Please add that to your playlist as well as Rihanna's new song Lift Me Up. It is for the soundtrack of Wakanda Forever, which is coming out very soon. And it is definitely like a ballad song. It's definitely like an anthem song, and I really enjoyed it. I missed Rihanna, and Thames actually wrote that song. So if you have not heard it yet, please add those two to your playlist today. And as you guys know, I love to end my show with some positivity and some great vibes, especially after this very, very heavy episode that has just dealt with so much death. I actually just want to give a second of silence to just honor the lives of Ifani and Takeoff. Let's do that right now. Thank you. All right, you guys. Medasa Pan, thank you so much for watching What's the Wahala AC. We will be back next Thursday for another episode. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share, all that jazz. I will see you guys next week. Bye.